How's it going everybody? CJ here. Back with another video. We're doing a first DOS today. It's on Nostro Voice of the Rock. Cool card. It's got some interesting shenanigans. Before we get into that, remember, we got a giveaway going on. That's going to be linked down below. And at the end of the video, it's going to be a little box right here that you can click on and it'll direct you to the giveaway video so you can learn how to enter. In the giveaway, you could win an Elder Dingus Highlander Playmat. And you can join us inside of the game with CJDH. It's the gameplay series on the channel. Uh, also, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can do it directly through Patreon. Or if you want to buy any of the cards I talk about here, the TCG Player Affiliate link down below. Click on there, buy your cards through there, and it helps the channel. Let's hop into this. So Nostro, Voice of the Rocks. The best way I can see this, this is like actually just a storm commander. Like it cares about storm. It cares about your storm count number of spells you cast in the turn. So what you're gonna be doing is casting a lot of spells. So this you can combo off with this deck very easily, like Ice Cron Scepter and Dramatic Reversal. That'll give you infinite damage or infinite mana. It can let you scry your deck exactly how you want it. You can infinitely scry. Uh, you can deal infinite damage to creatures and so you just blow up everyone's creatures and you can gain infinite life. So that seems pretty good. It's a good start. It doesn't actually win the game on its own, but it lets you f just find your win con on, off the top of your library. Like, you, you just scry through your whole deck, find your win con, and just cast a cantrip and win the game. Not too hard. Uh, but you can also win the game through playing, like, Boros Reckoner and just dealing infinite damage to Boros Reckoner and negging your opponents like that. Especially if you can give it, like, Dark Steel Plate or something so it sticks around. Uh, you can also play uh, Storm Wild Capri Caprador, Storm Wild Caprador, which lets you make an infinitely large creature. So that's also pretty sweet. It's an infinitely large flyer, so you can win through that too. Uh, other ways you can play this deck are Storm cards that you're gonna want to put in this deck. You, Kaikar and Elsha, they're typical Jeskai Storm commanders. They'll fit well into this deck too, so might as well throw them in. Uh, Underworld Breach is just a fantastic storm card because you get to reuse everything. Uh, Dockside Extortionist and any rituals, very important, so that way you can just continue to make mana because you're going to need a lot of mana to storm off. Past in Flames, so you can recast stuff from your graveyard, similar to Underworld Breach. It's important because you are gonna you might run out of cards in hand, but you have a lot of gas in your graveyard. A uh, whirlwind of thought, a good way to not lose gas in your hand because you just continue to draw cards. Uh, then you also got like future sight, so you just keep casting off the top of your library. Hopefully you don't hit too many lands because that'll really screw you over there. A uh, thousand years storm and eye of the storm, good ways to just rack up extra spells and just make it so you're casting a lot more than you originally thought you were. You can even throw in like Knowledge Pool if you want to, to add to the storm count. Because every spell you cast when Knowledge Pool is in play counts as two spells. Uh, also, so along with these cards, you're gonna need stuff like Cantrips, so that way you can keep reloading, keep cards in your hand. Gataxium Probe, Ponder, Preordain, Brainstorm, Treasure Cruise, Dig Through Time. All these are solid cards to have when you're trying to just keep a handful of cards, especially if you have like Thousand Year Storm in play, because then you'll be able to draw extra cards. You'll cast them more than once. Uh, you're going to want to have wheels in the deck. Uh, Time Spiral is one of the best ones because it untaps your lands, but like Wheel of Fortune, Windfall, Winds of, or not really Winds of Change, but anything that can get, like, wheel you into more cards, like um, Reforge the Soul, stuff like that. Those are all auto includes in this deck, so it's another wheels commander, kind of, just because of the fact that you need ammo to be able to continue to just cast spells. Uh, if you're going to do all that, you might as well throw like Narset in because you can screw over your opponents that way. Uh, good card draw to keep you keep your hand full and like reload during your opponent's turns. You got stuff like Rhystic, Mystic Remora and Rhystic Study, both are very key. Just Guy Ascendancy is a solid card, and uh, Swans of Bryn are Ar goalie. Really sweet in here because you can just deal a ton of damage to it equal to your storm count with your commander and draw a ton of cards. Nice combo there. 
You can also take it more of an artifact route because it's really easy to storm with artifacts. Throw like Joyra in the deck. Uh, Ethereum Sculptor to make them cheaper. You do all the Moxes just because they're zero mana and they help ramp you. So good. Uh, Emery so you can cast stuff from your graveyard. You got Boundary Inspector, another one that makes it cheaper. And then you can throw in, I guess, like Bobbles, Memnite, Ornithopter, or something zero mana so that way you can easily cast things. If you have Joy Run play, you're just going to cast them and draw cards. So they're redraws at that point. But not the, I don't think it's the best build for this. I think this is more of a spell slinger type of storm deck. And you can also throw in like Mystic Sanctuary, just a good way to make sure that you can reuse some of the better cards in your graveyard. And wait, you're going to want to untap your commander here because very strong tap ability. You're going to want to be able to activate it more than once a turn. Free from the Real, Pemanzora, Mage Rite Stone. Uh, all those are uh, Umbral Mantle. All those can be in a deck. All those should be auto includes. Uh, Mind Over Matter is a really good card in this deck. You can throw in a zombie so you can draw through your deck. Or you can throw in Arcanus. If you throw in Arcanus and you do the Mind Over Matter thing, you'll be drawing a lot of cards and you'll be drawing enough that you can untap your commander over and over too and just continue to it'll almost be like you're just. Uh, able to go infinite with it like you'll be able to do a lot of untaps and just get a ton of value out of it also draw your whole deck and win the game probably so that seems pretty good so that's what we got for nostro voice of the rocks if you guys enjoyed this video remember hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already comment down below if you're going to build nostro and if you are let me know if there's any cool cards that i didn't mention or if there's any cool cards i didn't mention that you're going to use uh, check us out on Patreon if you're going to support the channel or if you're going to buy any of the cards that I've mentioned here TCG Player Affiliate link is down below buy your cards through there, that helps the channel and don't forget about our giveaway click right over here and you can join the giveaway it's really really easy and it's a cool playmat so do it we'll see you guys next time peace out everybody